Are you somebody that's looking to sell digital products online? If so, on today's video, I'm gonna be showing you different kinds of digital products that you can actually sell online, and more importantly, how to actually start selling them. Now, before we get going, guys, my name is Peter Pru. Every single video here, we give do a giveaway. Today's video giveaway winner is gonna get our e-commerce empire starter pack completely for free. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is drop a comment down below on today's video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And then most importantly, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. You wanna be notified when the next video drops to see if you're that lucky winner. So make sure you watch this whole video and you are paying attention because we're gonna be announcing that winner. So what makes digital products so great? Why are they worth selling? And most importantly, why should you even watch this whole video? Well guys, here's the thing. Digital products are very, very versatile. Right? And people don't realize this, but we are always consuming information out there, just like you watching this video right now. And you probably consume lots of other content and other different kinds of industries for yourself as well, whether that's learning how to cook, whether it's learning how to start an online business, learning how to invest, right? Whatever it might be, we're always consuming information. And most importantly, oftentimes, when people are consuming free information, they're also paying for this information as well to get more premium content from the, the creator that made the digital product product. Now, here's the thing, right? Digital products can often be very difficult to sell because a lot of people jump into it thinking, oh man, these are this is great margins, right? Like I can sell these, right? I have better margins, right? But it's very difficult to sell them on the front. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video, how to properly sell your digital products so you can make more money. Secondly, Digital products are very, very versatile. Number one, you of course, you can sell them, right? Absolutely, you can sell them, and once you make them once, any costs that are involved in actually creating your digital content, right, all the rest is, is free money, right? Because once you create it once, you can repeatedly sell it over and over again, right? Next, these digital products, right, you can give them away for free, right? You don't even have to, you can give them away for free to build up your email list, build up your list of uh, prospects to, to sell your products to, right? So they're very, very versatile, and my personal favorite way to to use these digital products is bundling them with physical products, e-commerce products, and really setting yourself apart from your competition, right? And a lot of e-commerce sellers aren't doing that. And I especially recommend if you're somebody that's doing e-commerce or drop shipping, anything like that, bundle in some digital products, right, with your physical, right, to really increase the perceived value of what you're selling and give your customers a reason to buy from you instead of heading over to Amazon. So let's quickly talk about the different kinds of digital products that are out there that are available for you to sell. Now, these are the ones I personally sell myself. So I think these are kind of like the best ones to start out with. Okay, so let's start out with ebooks. Now, the two main categories are ebooks and video courses. So ebooks are written forms, right? Courses are more video forms. Now, you can choose either one to sell. You could sell both if you choose to. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a breakdown of exactly what's inside of each, right? So inside of eBooks, right, we have cheat sheets. Now cheat sheets are very, very short. They might be only one page long, giving your customer a cheat sheet. So for example, you know, let's say you wanna sell digital products in the fitness niche. Well, this cheat sheet, right, can have a nutrition list. It can have, you know, a grocery list on it. Essentially a cheat sheet should be something that they can stick on a refrigerator or fold up that they can quickly open and get a quick result from. And that's the thing, with any of these digital products that we're talking about, we're always talking about what's the result that it gets for a specific customer, right? And that's really the key with these kind of digital products. You don't need them long, right? You want them short, concise, and getting your customer a result as quickly as possible, right? And that's really the goal, whether you're selling physical products, digital products, is getting your customer some sort of a result. Now, again, cheat sheets are more uh, short form, think something that they can quickly look at and then they can use as a quick reference. The second is different kinds of templates. There's so many different kinds of templates uh, out there available, guys. Now, the uh, templates are meant for your customer to kind of like plug their stuff into. So for example, let's say you, you've you developed some sort of template ebook that somebody can type in. There are different kinds of, you know, uh, uh, you know, fitness uh, questions that you might have, their weight, height, whatever, and then your template can tell them, hey, if you're you're this height, you're you're this weight, you're this this, right? This is how much you should be eating, or whatever it is that your 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 digital product provides, right? Templates are something where they take some sort of input, right, and gives them a, an output out, right? So, for example, on this channel, right, one of the bonuses that if you use any of the affiliate links in the description of this video, we give you our email templates. Now, these email templates, right, they're already filled out. You just have to plug in your information. 
position, right? So same exact concept, but you just have to position it for your specific niche. Third is worksheets. I love using kind of worksheets like this because they're interactive, right? Worksheets are things that people will literally print out or they should be designed in a way to make your customer want to print out and actually fill in. These are great to build good customer loyalty. This is something that we do inside pretty much all of our programs is give out different kinds of worksheets, right? For people to put a print out and fill in, right? This helps create really solidify the information that they're learning. And also by the time they're done their, that worksheet, they've gotten some good results already, right? And again, I'm going to keep stressing this through this video is that that's the key with selling digital products, right? You're always, always focusing on giving your customer some sort of result. Okay, that's the key. Okay, now moving into courses right now courses, there's really two different types of courses out there. Now they're all video. These I'm strictly talking about video courses here. There's long form and short form. Now what is the difference? Well, pretty obvious long form courses are something that I'm typically shooting at, you know, at 10 plus hours of content right? Now a, a full video course, you can charge premium prices for something like this, whether it's like a six week class, eight week class, maybe it's, you know, even longer than that, right? Now, if you're going to do something like that, you definitely need to be either working with an expert in your field or you being an expert already in your specific field. So you can actually educate your customers on the topic that you're teaching them, right? You're not going to be able to create an effective course that gets your customers results. If you yourself don't know what you're even talking about. Okay. And secondly is short form, short form, courses are things that are between 30 minutes and two hours long, in my opinion, right now, these are little things that you can create, whether it's, you know, going over, you know, uh, different kinds of workouts or, or whatever it might be. These short form uh, courses can be used to get, you know, you could charge for them, of course, but these are really good to kind of give your customers some sort of results before you give them money. So for example, this can be these short form uh, uh, video courses can be given away as a free bundle or given away for free to give your customers some sort of results that inevitably leads them to actually purchasing your full price products. So now let's talk about how do you actually sell these kind of digital information products. I'm going to show you the simplest way to get started with selling digital products. Number one is a free mini course or a free ebook, right? Now these free ebooks, this is a funnel that you will be sending traffic to. Now you're sending traffic to this landing page with the sole purpose of collecting that customer's email address, right? Now your advertisement in that landing page says, Hey, it's a free mini course on how to learn how to, you know, get your six pack in the next, you know, six weeks or whatever it might be. And you're giving it to them for free, right? In exchange for their email address. Now, after they give you their email address on the thank you page, this is where you provide them the information that they opted in for, right? Pretty obvious, right? You're giving them that result in advance. Now, this is where it's very important. You want to make sure that after they opt in, you're giving them some sort of opportunity to purchase from you as well. Now, this can be either booking a call with your team. It can be pushing them out to a more premium price product that you have. Maybe it's a physical products or an e-commerce store that you sell courses that you have. Maybe it's a webinar, whatever it might be, whatever it is that you're wanting them to buy or learn more about you want this to be shown right here by this video, right? Because this is going to interest them. They're going to get value from this and then they're going to want to go and learn more about what it is that you offer. Okay. Now this is really important to understand that you have to have this because you're running this traffic to this landing page and you're not necessarily seeing a direct ROI. So you want to make sure you're monetizing this, all the people that are opting in here, right? You want to be sending them emails. You want to be sending them emails specifically to whatever it is that you're trying to get them to buy here. All right, guys, I hope you're enjoying today's video. So far, we're going to quickly flash our last video giveaway winner right there. If that is you, email Peter at eCommerce Empire Builders to claim your free prize. And don't forget, right, today's video giveaway winner is going to be getting the eCommerce Empire starter pack. If you want to enter, drop a comment down below in today's video, smash that like button, and most importantly, hit that notification bell so you can tune into the next video to see if you're that lucky winner. The next way to really sell these eBooks is using something called a free plus shipping or a deep discount offer right now. This is kind of how it works and it's kind of a synergy of both. And you've probably seen these with big influencers doing this where they're selling eBooks, right? So when your customers, you're now sending them tra traffic to a funnel that's offering them an eBook or a, uh, you know, a mini guide or whatever it might be right for, you know, seven bucks, 10 bucks, very cheap. You want to keep this very, very low, right? For this eBook that you're selling. Here. Now you could position this as a free plus shipping or a deep discount offer. It's purely digital though. You're not sending them out anything physical. 
So right here, this is where you're gonna sell them something for you know $5, $7, something low cost, right? But you're selling your ebook and giving them that result in advance again, right? So after they opt in here and actually pay you that first dollar, which is always the hardest to get, getting that first yes is always the hardest, you can then have the opportunity to upsell them your more expensive priced products. This can be your more expensive priced courses, your more expensive priced ebooks or physical products that you're actually selling. Again, we're just changing our right around how we're selling it. And this is kind of how I built all of my businesses to that seven figure level is by leading in with something cost effective. I'm not trying to lead in with something that costs thousands upon thousands of dollars for people. I'm trying to lead in with something low cost, something around 10 bucks, right? That gives them a whole bunch of value and then selling them the more premium stuff in the upsells as well as the back end automations. The next one I want to share with you is the hybrid, right? Now, this is the hybrid model that I personally have find the best sort of success with. It's a mixture of selling physical products as well as digital products. So how do we do this? Well, we do this by first, right? Offering our customers something physical, right? We offer them a physical product on the front end, right? Via a free plus shipping offer, a deep discount offer, similar to the eBooks that we showed here. Now, why are we doing physical? Well, it's sort of the Christmas effect. It's sort of that, that Amazon effect. People love getting something in the mail and you will typically find conversions are a lot higher on a physical product than a digital product. And again, it's because people, it's tangible. It's something real. It's something that they're actually going to get in their mailbox as opposed to just something digital that gets lost on their desktop somewhere. Right? So we lead in with something physical, digital product, right? Fishing lures, whatever, something free plus shipping or a deep discount, right? Charging no more than 10, 20 bucks for it just to get customers in the door. And then only then do we upsell the digital product, right? We upsell the video course, the eBooks or any, any sorts of things like that. Now this is a great model. This is my personally, my favorite model is using the hybrid model because you're now taking advantages of two different kinds of business opportunities, e-commerce, as well as selling digital information information products. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you show, show some love, smash that like button and subscribe button as well, and drop your comment down below to give, get into the free giveaway of the e-commerce empire starter pack. Guys, also make sure you check all the free resources down below in the description of this video, especially the seven figure masterclass. That's that very first link. It's an hour and a half long training where I specifically show you how to build these funnels out to sell physical products, digital products, or a bundle of the two. Again, that will be the very first link in the description of this video. So really make sure you guys go check that out. Also, there's a ton of free bonuses and resources available down below in the description to help you build your e-commerce empire. So make sure you check those out as well. But guys, as always, have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember, your empire starts now.